Welcome back to the Sabo Academy. Today we're going to talk about the square wave with thermal stress test. The test consists of a protocol of procedures drawn up by our technical office to check the behavior of our products and ensure their proper validation. In the first stage, the shock absorber, built using the components to be validated, is placed in a temperature testing chamber and cooled to minus 30 degrees Celsius and left to stabilize for 24 hours so that all its component parts have cooled. In the second phase, it is removed from the chamber and tested on our MTS test bench using a detection program with standard braking characteristics. As you can see, the graphic representation is of the sinusoid wave type. Afterwards, there begins a third test phase. This is called the square wave phase and involves 10 complete cycles in which the shock absorber undergoes a thrust on its vertical axis at a speed of greater than 4 meters per second. The stroke is established as a function of shock absorber's size. Once this test has been completed, and as long as the shock absorber has no oil leaks or other faults, we proceed with another standard test in which it is heated to a temperature of 130 degrees Celsius at a speed of 0.52 meters per second or 1.0 meters per second on continuous cycles. At the end of the test, the shock absorber is checked visually for any oil leakage or other faults. The calibration curve must be regular or in any case comply with the requisites previously established by our technical office. Mm -hmm.